Yes, yes, welcome to another video and it is the first preview for the Premier League season. Really, really looking forward to it. You know, a big game coming up against Spurs and uh, yeah, we're ready to go. So we, we, we've got some talking points we want to go through and uh, you guys can let us know your thoughts, of course, in the comment section below. Make sure you smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. I want to say a massive thank you to our sponsors. It is the guys at Manscaped. I'm so buzzing to show you this. This, bruh. Ooh, what's that, bro? It's the 4.0, mate. It's the lawnmower 4.0. Brand new. It's only just come out here in the UK. It's absolutely the, the pinnacle, bruh, of ball Ooh. shaving technology. Take this to your balls and become part of the smooth gang. Innit? Don't be having that jungle growth down below. I know it's all global warming and that, but that is one jungle that needs to be cut yes, down, bruh. Yes, 100%. And once you've uh, once you've cut, you know, trimmed down, you know what I mean. You just get on this bread, the ball deodorant. You know what I mean. I know everyone's working out these days, trying to get in shape. Don't we want your sweaty balls? And finish off with a little ball toner. Head over now to manscape.com and use code extra XTRA, and you'll receive a whopping twenty percent off as well as free shipping. So head over now and get the performance pack today. Um, I like that. I that was like, nice. Though. I like, I like it. That. It's good. It's good. It's good. Right. Okay, bread. Premier League back. Are you excited? I'm well excited. Um, obviously, we've we've seen some football already. Uh, Friday we've seen Arsenal lose, which was great. Um, Saturday, you know, yep. what I mean, having having more games then. It's uh, it's nice. It's nice to to have this again. I feel like I didn't know how much I missed it until yeah. like it, it was gone. You know what I mean? And then I was like, oh, we, obviously for for summer we had Euros and that, so it was kind of like that eased it a little bit. That eased the the lack of football quite a lot. And then after the whole England thing and losing the Euros, I wanted a break from football again. I was like, oh, I just want Premier League back. Just want Premier League back. And then now that uh, we actually get to see City back in action, I am absolutely buzzing. I can't wait to see our new players playing the Premier League. I mean, we've got Jack Grealish in that. Um, I'm excited to see how things go, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, it's, I'm really looking forward to it. And we just finished off watching the uh, Liverpool-Norwich game. We did a tier three live stream. Um, so yeah, like we, we sometimes watch other games for our, for our tier three members. And... Uh, I'm just buzzing to get back into it now, you know what I mean? I can't wait for it. I can't wait for us to get Harry Kane and I can't wait to actually have a striker on the football pitch. It's going to yeah. be really good. I'm really looking forward to the season. And, you know, we've got Grealish as well. Let's, let's, let's move on to Grealish. This is going to be, you'd expect, uh, a full debut for him. You know, you'll probably start the game. We would expect him to start the game. And I think he's going to be really important. Obviously, Kevin De Bruyne is unlikely to play. Um, you know, I mean, I think he could play... If we really wanted him to, is that the thing? But we don't really want him to play because he's yeah, only well, just, he, he's only he's just, just a thing. He's in training. He did half a day of training the other day. Yeah. Um, he, he isn't looking like the best. And City being very careful about his current situation because if he gets another injury, he's going to, uh, to the ligaments, he's going to need surgery. Um, and we're trying to avoid that at all, all, all costs. So ease him back into it. So yeah. that's that kind of makes me think he won't start this game. Uh, it'd be a big risk if we did. Um, however, I mean, stranger things happen. If he does start, that tells me that maybe it's not as serious yeah. as what we, we first thought. However, on first look, apparently it is quite serious. So I think we'll take our time with Kev, get him back in slowly. Um, I reckon a couple of weeks he'll be back in that job starting. Yeah, and, and this is why, bro, it's such a big game for Grealish because obviously he's coming in big price tag Kevin De Bruyne's unlikely to start he's probably going to be our main creative vocal point through the centre of the pitch obviously you've got your wingers and stuff but he's probably going to be the one driving us forward and it could be a really tricky game Nuno Mendes is it called Nuno Mendes what's it called <laughs> no that's the I always say this. Nuno Santos uh, Nuno Santos Sweet -o. or Sweeto <laughs> whatever it's called right I think personally I think he's a negative boring defensive manager so I think he's going to set up Tottenham not to get beat he doesn't want to get beat in his first game for the club you know what I mean in the Premier League so he's going to set up not to get beat I think we could struggle to try and create chances and this is where Jack Grealish is going to be critical um, to try and break down that defence maybe you know have a few shots at goal himself that's what you know that's actually one thing that I want to see from Jack Grealish tomorrow early on I want him to have a shot get it out of your system mate you know what I mean I don't yeah. care you know it would be nice if you could hit the target and not blaze your first shot miles over the bar because we could get murks but get it out of your system you know what I mean Whack a shot, first minute, boom, straight at the goalkeeper. You know what I mean? Get it out of your system. Let, let you know what I mean. Let, let it go. Yeah, because he, he's gonna want that. And you know what I mean, yeah. he'd, be, he'd be begging to get a goal so much. 
and uh, we'd be begging to have a couple of shots off. So if he gets out of his system, it might be better for his game in it rather than mm. maybe it'll turn off the greeds a little bit. Yeah, but I'm really looking forward to seeing Jack Grealish pull on that Manchester City shirt and for, for his full his full debut. But the question is, who's going to be playing up front? Obviously, we know it's not Harry Kane because we've not got that deal over the line quick enough. Um, and we've let Sergio Aguero leave the football club, so it's not him either. So it only really leaves you with Ferran Torres or Gabby Jesus. You could play a false nine with Bernardo, but I, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, and and I continue from where I left off last season that I believe that right now Ferran Torres is a better option as a striker than Gabby Jesus. And I know we've got a lot of Gabby Jesus, uh, you know, massive fans and that, and they want him to play over Ferran. But in my opinion. I think Ferran Torres is better in, in that six-yard area. I don't think, actually, he's got a better overall game than Gabby. I think Gabby is better at getting involved in the game. But purely and simply putting the ball in the back of the net, I think it's Torres. And as I say, because I think we could struggle tomorrow to create chances because I think that they will go defensive. I want someone who's going to convert more than the other one. And that, for me, is Ferran Torres. Yeah, well, the thing is with Ferran, he has that um, striker's instinct that Gabby lacks. Um, and I think that's why you see, uh, do you know what I mean, Ferran... It, He's, he's a lot more confident. He's a, for me, and I, I think he drives that confidence into a lot of the fans as well. So for, for me, I, I'd love to see Torres back up top again. Mm. Uh, you know, we've seen it in the, in the community shield. didn't really work out too well in that game. However, I mean, it was a much changed side. It was pretty much a pre-season game. Um, that. So for me, yeah, Torres has to be the one. I don't see Gabby starting this. It's got to be Torres up top. Let us know in the comments, guys. Gabby or Torres? Um... And, and funny, actually, during that stream, we were talking about Kane. We'll just talk, touch on Kane because you kind of can't. I know some people be like, oh, just stick to the match in it. But you kind of have to talk about Harry Kane, given the fact that we're about to sign him from Tottenham, who's our yeah. first game of the season. And uh, you was thinking it might be a good sign for Caldoon and, and Ferran and Tiki and that to have a little conversation. Yeah. With well, Daniel Levy. I was saying, it, 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 what is, how is it? Do you know what I mean? How are these deals done? Do you know what I mean? Like, if, if we're going to Tottenham, Surely, then the club representative should just sit down and have a, have a conversation after the match with Daniel Levy if it's needed. Do you know I mean if there's something that needed to be said? You're right there. So He's yeah. going to be there, so you may as well just call You may as well I'll sit down and have a chat with him about the whole deal. That's if it's far away or it could be a lot further advanced than what we think. So these talks aren't needed. Yeah. You might not need the talks at all. You know what I mean? I just thought whilst we're there, get it done, isn't it? If we can get it done, get it signed, and then we can just take Kane back with us, saves the trip, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, we'll have to see on that one. Um, right, let's move on to what we think is going to be the first Premier League starting eleven for Manchester City this season. Uh, we need to clarify, is this, this is the team that we would pick if we was the manager? This isn't the team... This, this is where people went wrong last year. Yeah, it's not a predicted 11. This, I mean, it's... it's, it's LB and Jordi Pardy's 11. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Right. It's our 11. It's like career mode manager, yeah? Yeah, so yeah, basically, we're not trying to be Pep or predict what Pep would do. Pep is obviously yeah. far superior at football, brain knowledge, than me and LB are. This mm. is just my and LB's 11 because we yeah. get hate for this. <laughs> because we don't explain it. Right, so this is a team that we would go for if we was the manager. Edison in goal. Cancelo at right back purely and simply because Kyle Walker has not played any games in preseason. Ruben Diaz, Stones. Although I think there is an outside chance he might play, okay? Yeah. I would play Ben Mendy. I know a lot of you thinking, <laughs> you're crazy. But I think he's done all right in preseason and I would give him the shirt and say to him, you've got the shirt until you mess up. Fernandinho. Yeah. Has to be Fernandinho. Has to be. I would personally go Gundogan just to help out you know it's first game of the season Fernandinho might get a little bit leggy you know what I mean he's not match sharp so I would put Gundogan in the sort of eight role you know what I mean just doing a little bit of helping out you know what I mean defensively and going forward and I would just say to Grealish you're the man you're the man you're Kev in this game you know what I mean you're the one who's going to go who's going to have the free role for attacking uh, and then I think the front line picks itself Mares on the right Torres up front as we've already discussed and I think Raheem Sterling, even though he's not played any minutes, apparently he's one player that is just constantly fit all year round and doesn't really need a preseason. I think he will start the game at left wing. Can I can I query this? I don't really? know. It's our predicted eleven. Anyway, do you mean it's our, well, it's our eleven? You, you're doubting your team already. No, 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 I'm not doubting it. I'm just uh, just just asking questions about it. So we know that Grealish is predominantly going to feature on the left hand side of the pitch. Uh, do you know what I mean, we, we knew that from the offer when we were signing him, that, that's where he'd be playing. With Kev being out, usually he plays the right camera roll kind of thing, and Gundo usually on the left-hand side being an eight there. Would you switch that? Would you have Grealish on the right, or would you still play Grealish on the left and put Gundo right? Do you know what I mean? This, this is what in my I brain. I, I don't know. I don't know. We might actually set up with like a double pivot. 
we might actually set up double pivot Fener and Gundo and just give Grealish the free roll and just say yeah. go wherever you think. You and Gund- Gundo can help out either way. And yeah. I mean? Also, another thing: if, if people did want to put a spin on the front three and they didn't want to start Sterling, um, which I think I think we should start Sterling. He had a very good year at us. Um, you, there is obviously a chance that we could start with Grealish on the left hand side and bring in another midfielder. Do you know what I mean, I think yeah. going double pivot. With I don't Ferdinand want that. Rodri, but I don't want that because that sounds like you're going to have to put Bernardo in the middle with Gundogan, and I think yeah. that's a real, real lack of proper creativity. I really do. So that's the team I, I think we should go for. Yeah. Um, predicted score lines. I don't, I'm not confident about this. I think they're going to go proper defensive. He's not. He's not going to want to get beaten in his first game for Spurs. He's just not. I think they're going to. You know. I think they're going to go like 11 men behind the ball. I think we could struggle without a striker, without Kev. You know what I mean? I think we're going to struggle. I think I'm going to go for a one-all draw. I think. And to be fair, we lost Alec last year. So that's yeah. one point gained on last year's total straight yeah. away. So I think that's not too bad. Um, yeah, yeah. I see that. Um, I've gone for 2-1 City. Just want to back us, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's more of a prayer to the football gods <laughs> that just to help us, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, help man. us out. Let us, let us at least get a win in this ground for the first time. Um, I do want us to win, obviously, as everyone will. I do think it'll be very difficult. I think it'll be a tight game. Um, you know what I mean? They, and they're going to be starting without Harry Kane, hopefully. Do you know what I mean? I, I doubt yeah, he's going to want to play against us if, play. if he's coming to City. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've gone 2-1. Yeah. Um, and you know for a fact it's going to be Hyung Min Son that scores for them because he yeah. just always does the bits against City. Yeah. It is likely. Guys, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Give us your predicted score as well. Check out Manscapes. Go to manscaped.com and use code EXTRA, XTRA, and you can get this, the brand new Lawnmower 4.0, as well as a load of other goodies. And use code EXTRA for your 20% off and free shipping. Smash a like on the video. We'll go for 1,000 likes today just to get us off. Get us on a nice streak. Nice. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And we'll see you in the next one. See you in a bit.